Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm. In today's video, we're going to be playing as Gul'dan. Can we just appreciate for a second, original Gul'dan, right? It's okay, kind of classic, kind of boring, a little bit tame, versus Dark Nexus Gul'dan. This skin is freaking incredible. And I saw a comment in my last Heroes of the Storm video from the Farious asking to see a high damage... A damage dealer, essentially, like an assassin. I typically don't play too many assassins here in the channel. I typically like to play either warrior or support because that makes my team a little bit better. But when I was looking through the various assassins in the game, I'm thinking, like, who's a big, bursty, high damage, fun assassin I could play in a video? Of course, we've already done Rainer. We've already done Jaina. I was thinking about Vala, but then... I saw Gul'dan. Gul'dan is a very fun and interesting character, and without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into the gameplay. I will not be denied. Ladies and gentlemen, what did I do to deserve this? Who would have thought when I queued up as Gul'dan of all people that I would get matched with not one, but two different warriors along with a support and another ranged assassin? What an awesome little team composition we have right here. But on the opposing team, it's not going to be a cakewalk because on the opposing team, we have the party of Ana, who's of course the healer. We have Asmodan, Chen as their tank, which is really interesting. We haven't played against the Chen yet, so far here in the channel, and Alarak as well as Orphea there, so it should be a pretty interesting matchup here on Cursed Hollow, but I'm sure you guys are wondering, where is Tales from the Borderlands? Well, if you saw it, remind if you guys didn't see it, it's currently uh, 2.35 in the morning. <laughs> I planned to record more Tales from the Borderlands today, but I simply ran out of time. The reason why I ran out of time was because I was busy on Facebook of all places, which who would have thought I'd be talking about Facebook here in the video. I was on Facebook talking to the owner of the original URL of Facebook.com slash Near Cinema. This guy made it in like 2012. He didn't even know who I was or anything, so I'm sitting there talking to him trying to get the URL from him. He doesn't use the account anymore, really. It took like three hours or so of him trying to figure it out and waiting for him to get back to me and so on and so forth. But I actually got the URL as well as my Twitter and everything. So pretty much universally across the board, I am near a cinema now, which is actually pretty cool. But because of that, I did not have time to record Tales from the Borderlands tonight, which is really unfortunate. So Gul'dan, let's talk about Gul'dan here. He is a very fun character. If you played a warlock in Warcraft whatsoever, then you have a good idea of how Gul'dan plays here in this game. Basically, Gul'dan can do lots of damage, but he does not passively regenerate mana. You have to choose to get your mana back by activating your trait, which is called Life Tap, where you sacrifice some of your health to get 25% of your mana back. As you guys can see, I'm dealing damage to myself and getting my mana back right there. Our E is going to be called Corruption, which is that thing I put down there on the ground. Oh, it's hoping I'll finish her off right there. Corruption is what we're building into. Our first talent here is going to make it so when we hit uh, enemy heroes with Corruption, uh, once we do that 40 times, it's going to empower our Corruption and make it so it comes back. So, it, you know, it's a uh, look, dot, dot, dot. And then it's going to go dot, 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 then dot, 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 back. So basically, it's going to hit six times instead of three, which is really good. But of course, you have to complete the quest by hitting a bunch of enemy heroes. So uh, that's basically like the general gist of it. Now, you... Because you're constantly hurting yourself and losing your own health, um, obviously healing is going to be an issue. And you can heal yourself with your W, which is called Drain Life. You can channel this on a living being of some sort. I'll actually show you guys this here in a second. And Drain Life. As you can see, I was draining a little bit of his life where he dove out of the way. And uh, I take health from him, and I get health back for me. But obviously, it's very good to be paired with the healer as well, because you're constantly hurting yourself. And let's just drop our E right there. Or my, or keep in mind, corruption will hurt um, minions as well as heroes. And what it actually does does is it does a little bit of damage but it does it over six seconds which is actually very interesting so you can you know put that debuff on people that dot if you will and uh it's gonna hurt them for a while it's draining a little bit of life off his mit of his little minion get that back and that's the thing about trying to trying to lane against the Gul'dan. it's so hard not to get hit by his corruption <laughs> Like, it's so easy to, like, accidentally walk into the corruption. And our Q here, I've been using it the whole game, but I haven't really talked about it. Our Q is called Fell Flame, which basically does a good amount of damage in a cone. And it only has a 1. Uh, 1. 1.75, no, 1.5 second cooldown, which is actually pretty absurd. Uh, they got our tower down here, but that's okay. It's actually absurd. So you can spam this ability, but it costs mana, and you're going to quickly run out of mana if you do that. Uh, here at level 4, we're going to be taking Improved Life Tap, which is going to make it so our trait restores even more mana than it normally does. Yeah, we better get out of my way. Yeah, you can try pulling me in and silencing me. It's not really going to do anything. We're basically just going back and forth here. I mean, there we go. <laughs> now, the objective is down there at bottom. I'm wondering 
I mean, this Alarak may honestly... Oh, he's got me silenced. And we're going to drop that on him. Ooh, hit him twice there. It may be best to stay up here and try to lane against him. I'm not really sure. He's going to be in that bush right now. I know that for a fact. Um, I don't know. The team might actually have this without me. Nope, Alarak's actually going down. You know what? We... Ah, no. I'm, I'm already so far away. Is it even going to matter? I'm, I'm, I'm going to make my way down there. I should I should have came to it. I, I should have made that decision sooner. I'm in the way that how late I'm going to be getting to this team fight. Uh, and they're calling for a retreat right now, but I'm just now getting here. Uh, so we can maybe potentially get some corruptions off. There we go. Now, if I can just get some heals from Stukov, we'll be set. All right, I'm going to drain life off this little thing, get my own health back, which gives me time for my E to come back off cooldown anyway. And all right. All right, Tyrael, you're getting in there. I like it. I can dig it. And let's do some Gul'dan things. So I dropped our corruption right there. When you're paired with a healer down here, you can actually, you know, afford the life tap more than you normally would. Now, let's drain some life off this fella. Hello, big bear. Thank you. Freaking Chen. Oh, Chen's silenced. He can't actually get out of this. Chen's going down. Yep, Chen's definitely going down. Chen is, like, such just not a good tank. I might actually... Not him as a player, but Chen, the character, is not very good. Uh, I may actually do a video as Chen just to show you guys how bad he is. Let's drain some life. He's getting close to me thinking he's going to kill me. I'm just going to drain life off of him. And speaking of that, let's let's drop some quest on you. There we go. Gets a little bit of corruption off. Ooh, good kills here, team. Very good kills. All right, they should be able to get this, if I had to guess. They should be able to get this. And, oh, I want him with that. Now, here's a very interesting choice that we can make. It's a tough choice. It really is. Uh, if you're a good Gul'dan, it's an obvious choice. If you're if you're a, a Nero Gul'dan, which is mediocre at best, it's not uh, it's not a very easy choice. So the choice is between uh, Bound by Shadow, which is going to make it so whenever we hit an enemy hero with our Q, it's going to reduce the cooldown of our E, uh, which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to build into getting as much corruptions up as possible. But you take another talent called Hunger for Power, which is going to increase your spell power, which is basically your damage, by 15%, but you take 25% less healing from your allies. Uh, not yourself, but your allies. Um, I mean, that wording is weird. Maybe it, maybe it, 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 um, maybe that actually does count against, against yourself. I don't think it does. We're going to do it. We're going to take hunger for power. We're going to take that little bit of a debuff, but I think it's going to be worth it. And let's just drop this on good old Chen there. Get all three of those hits off. We have 20 of our 40 so far, so not too bad. But that, that little marker right there is going to let, uh, I get, I get, I never, I, that wasn't there last time I played this cool Dan. It's been so long. It's actually kind of weird to see that. All right, now let's drain some life off big fella here. Ah, I ran away. Smart man, smart man. That's what Chen does. He sits there and drinks his keg, and that's pretty much it. Um, so is Chen going to keep laying against me, or is he going to go try and help his team down here? Or, are they, or is he going to concede this objective? I mean, I'm going to head down anyway, because there's really no sense in me not. I mean, what's the Chen going to do? Take down our tower? He's Chen. And we already got, we already got it. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. I'm just going to give a good job to those guys. Before I can even get there, they have the objective. This team is so freaking quick. And... Hiya, Chen. Oh, he's a quick one. He's a quick one. Let's drain some life. There we go. Oh, Chen, I can, I can heal more damage than you can do. I promise. <laughs> like, you can try to do Chen things, but... <laughs> and, yeah, just stand right there. Chen, do you realize I can... Chen, Chen, you're aware I can just heal more damage than you can deal. <laughs> like, and I, I wish my camp would actually do damage to him. They're all just kind of standing here doing nothing. And Chen, again. Again, Chen. <laughs> He's going to die of dot damage now. See you later, Chen. Unless he get unless he can get to the sippy, he didn't. <laughs> that Chen's gotta learn, man. You have to learn that Chen's a terrible character. He just is. Uh, they actually buffed him. Um, I made who who got buffed? A murky. Murky got buffed in the recent patch. I'm actually making my way towards the objective. Um, and that's why I made a video talking about murky changes and stuff. And one of the other characters that got changed was Chen. They increased his damage, but it's still not enough. Uh, we're taking we're gonna be taking Horrify here, which is gonna be a big AOE fear, and. I'll be showing you guys how that works here in just a second. Once I'm actually here. I'll go ahead and take this. You feel free to go murder everybody. Did she take great? Oh, all right. That jerk. Waiting for it. Oh my gosh. She actually got that off again. Chen's going back for payback. Now he can sit there and soak up a bunch of damage. Sure, but that's not... 
gonna do much. All right, now now they're all here. And let's go for the fear bomb. That's what fear is, by the way. You place that down, uh, and it fears them in the direction closest to the edge of the circle, essentially. And I would love so much to drain some life off you right now. Uh-oh. That's not good. Chen may be going down, but we can't actually get close. It's just me and Jane. Oh, actually, Stukov's here. But we're all so close, it's hard to tell who's who. Um, are they going to be able to get this? I'm going to drop my E. I, I dropped it. I tried my best to make sure that they didn't get that. I guess I didn't need to because Jaina ended up freaking Kobe-ing her with her blizzard. Um, I think we're all going to die here. Yeah, they got that one. It's okay. We got the first two. We got the first two. And there we go. I mean, <laughs> freaking Jen. <laughs> So, I mean, in terms of kills there, you know, we lost two. They also lost two. They got the objective. That's fine. Uh, that That's really not a big deal. Uh, Blaze, I'm on the way to help you. I don't... I've played a bit of Blaze. He's, he's, he's good at clearing waves uh, for a tank anyway, comparatively. But he's not very good at taking camps. I mean, as you guys can see, he's, he's kind of taking forever. So, uh, I'm going to come in here and help him out a little bit. There we go. Grab that. Now, yeah, they grab theirs. Smart team. Smart team. I'm going to go up top. Could give it and take boss. They are a party of four, though. Alright. Alright. We're going we're gonna to be making some plays here. Now, Tyrael's kind of like distracted them a little bit right now. Alright. Uh, but they will kind of expect it if we're all here grabbing this camp, won't they? I mean, maybe. I, I don't know. It's a risky play. It really is. Oh, they're up there. Oh, he's alright. Tyrael's already fighting. Let's, let's get it, boys. Let's drop our E on him. Get a little damage over time on him. This is actually a very big play. This is smart. I, I, I honestly never would have thought to, uh, to, to have done this. So we're just going to sit here and spam as much damage as we can on this boss. Get our corruption off on it. And we're going to get rooted by it. That's fine. And smart plays, boys. Smart plays. Now, here's the thing. Uh, it's possible they could take their boss now. Which they may actually be doing. Uh, we're not seeing them anywhere. So if they get their boss, I mean, that's a really good counterplay by them. We're going to clear this. I think they're getting it. They're not appearing on the map anywhere. I definitely think they're taking their boss. Um, I'm going to put a warning here. I think they're there. I really do. Now here we're going to take Hellstone, which is going to allow us to activate the heal. Oh. And we're going to fear bomb them. Do a little bit of healing. Spam my Q. Spam my Q. Hellstones. Woo, so much damage right here. Oh my gosh, you can actually get it, and they actually got their boss. We got three of them, they got two of us, but they end up getting the boss, so uh, not exactly a great trade. Our top tower is already down as well, uh, but they're about to lose their bottom one. This is actually a super close game, guys. Win or lose, this is actually a super close game, and our Jaina is killing it right now. Very well done. I uh, should go up there to actually take out the boss, but the problem is uh, they got the objective and they got the boss there, so um, unless we can get people there... Because Jaina's having to go back to stop the boss. I'm not sure. Oh, Sukov's on his way down. Uh, do you, uh, no, she's got this. She's got this. Indecisiveness is, is going to be my downfall this game, man. Always, it's such a big freaking map. And I'm always, like, making bad decisions as to where I need to be or what I'm doing. Okay, they're all here. Uh, chances are they've got this one. Although I could probably get a big corruption off here. A very big corruption off. There we go. I mean, getting a pick like that is actually pretty big. Yeah, we need to defend back. We need to defend back for sure. Okay, I'm just going to go back now. Uh, yeah, and say, if, if, if old Chenny boy here really wants to fight. Well, here we go. Oh, I forgot. Chen breaks up in those little different parts. You guys kill the Chen and go for the fear. Fear them back to us. That's what you can do with the fear. With the right placement, you can choose where they go with their fear. Otherwise, it's almost random. Um, but yeah. Grabbing this for literally no reason, and... Oh, you want that? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we're going to lose that middle part anyway, so I might as well come over here and help him with this. This is actually super bad, man. This is actually super bad as I miss my E, because it's so freaking weird to place it when it's that close. All right, we got to hurry up and get this, man. We really got to hurry up. Uh, Life tap to gain damage. Uh, Corruption deals bonus damage for sure. Always build into the E. At least I like to. Uh, now we're about to lose our bottom tower. Maybe not, though. It's possible we'll actually save it. No. It's possible that when the curse is going to end, it maybe it was going to be able to kill off everything around it, but there are just too many minions. So we've lost all of our main towers here. The other team is... Uh, they are they are a party. 
and they're playing very well, just like our team is. It's a close match right now. We're, we're, we're behind, but we're winning a lot of the team fights. We're up 14 and 6 in terms of actual team fights. And speaking of that, let's not have you guys die now. There you go. Big wax from the Stukov. Good job, buddy. Let's get this, man. Takes me so freaking long to get anywhere. Uh, please don't let them cut me off. Don't cut me off. Okay, we're good. Was worried they were going to cut me off there. I'd strain life off this fella. Get my health and mana back. All right, they're going to go on top. I can fear them towards my team. Uh, the Ring of Frost combined with a a nice crispy corruption would be fantastic right now. They're going to be backing up for sure, which is smart. But, I mean, if, they want, if we get into a fight of any kind, we're going to win it, I feel like. That again, pride cometh before the fall. Are they all in the bush? As I go face check it. Oh my gosh, now they're down there. We're literally going to be roaming as a freaking gang squad. Look at this go here. All right. Now we might be able to catch ourselves, Nazmadan. And I'm not going to bother with my E. I'm going to save my E. There's no sense in me using it right there. It's got, how long is it? It's 14 second cooldown. Yeah, I'd rather not use it for something like that. I'd rather save it for, you know, potentially uh, a fight of any kind. Save this camp here coming mid. Hey, or if you had to take a couple of those hits for me so I can hopefully finish my quest before the next team fight, that'd be fantastic. We're going to kill us all off. There we go. No more camp for you, friends. This is a close game, man. I like this. I like... Matches like this are so much fun. They rarely happen in quick match, too. All right. Here's the tribute. We're just going to back it up. Uh, Stooky, you all right there, bud? I need you to get on your mount. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get up here. Just kind of surround the old objective. Last time I played in this map, I was... I was ooh, Bush. I like it. Last time I played in this map, I played as... Uh, Probius, and I was able to set up my pylons in advance for every single tribute. It was so good. It was so good. Yeah, bush was a good idea, but they they know we're there, guys. And we can get in this bush if you if you prefer, but... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Where's that ring of frost? Where's that ring of frost? And go for a backwards fear. Fear him this way. There we are. Nope. I would love so much to get in the way. No. All right, on the bright side, he should be he should be dead. He's dead. All right. Now, we have a Shen you guys are bullying up here. Can we uh, finish off said Shen before he gets you? There we go. Well, now the enemy team is cursed, so let's go ahead and try and even up those towers just a little bit. I'm going to try and push top. Now, if you guys will know, when the, when the opposing team is cursed, uh, their towers don't work and their minions die in one hit. So, just something to bear in mind. Try and get all, all these down as fast as we can. This is what's kind of nice about Gul'dan is I can, I can, I can really spam this kind of stuff and just kind of get my mana back constantly. But all right, get three corruptions on the tower. We're just trying to even this out here. If we can get the, their top keep down, that'd be fantastic to really even everything out. But I don't think we're gonna be able to pull that off honestly. Uh, we're gonna keep push. Uh, getting their boss right now would be super risky. I'm just gonna. Yeah, we're going to life tap right now. Now, we could try... I, I wish these guys were a little bit closer. Because if Jaina... We might be taking our boss. I can steal bosses now with this Q. Oh, okay. We're going to take Horrify, which is going to lower their armor. This seems like a good idea. The other one, Demonic Circle, is also really good, but... Uh, are we actually going to go try and fight that? I mean, I, I'm, I'm down. He should be able to live. If yeah, if not, he's gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna fear them away. This is him up here. Oh, never mind. Who needs fear when you've got Ring of Frost? And let's fear him towards us. That's how you do it, boys. <laughs> I wanted so much to freaking kill those guys, but nope. All right, wait for it. Wait for it. And then Orphea goes down. Now Ana was able to sleep him. All right. Now we should be able to take their boss with relative ease here. I need to I need to drain life. I'm on 15 kill streak. Look at me go. Drain a little bit of life. I have plenty of mana right now, so I'm just gonna spam the Q. Um, the only the only downside about building into your corruption, your E, is uh, long cooldown, man. Long cooldown. Drain some life as I tank this thing, but we kind of have to. Oh gosh, this hurts a lot. All right, tank Jaina, go. Okay. <laughs> 
Now, here's the thing. Do we push top or do we just straight up get the boss? Uh, it's looking like they may be wanting to get boss. I mean, I can understand it. Uh, boss is going to ignore the minions. Okay. That works. That's one way to go. Again, this Jaina is killing it. I love seeing a good Jaina. Uh, we see so many kill thosses. Ooh, good tribute spot. Well, kind of, because they're going to be heading right to where we're at. But uh, we're be ready, boys. Take that damage. There we go. All right, let's get some mana back, and let's get some health back for crying out loud. It better not knock me back. Okay. By the way, a talent we took earlier is called Hellstone. I don't know if I actually called it out, but um, the Hellstone talent is basically a cooldown you can use once every minute, which is going to allow you to heal for 25% of your max health. Uh, it's typically pretty good. And we got it. See, they got they, they got our top boss down, though, pretty easily. Uh, we need to get the top keep. But we have the, their bottom keep already down. So if we push this boss, this could actually be potentially huge. That was a terrible E. My god, I am bad. I missed, like, half the minions there with that. <laughs> but, yeah, they're all right here. I mean, a nice ring of frost. Uh, anything, really. Oh, going for that Kobe. I'm going to use my heal on, my, on myself right now. So we got this down. Boss is already starting to attack Corey's a little bit. Ah, uh, we missed the Ring of Frost. Got a little bit excited. Oh, come on. Now Chen's just going to try to do annoying Chen things here. Um, I can Fear Bomb them away from us if they get close, which right now they're not, so we're kind of okay. And drop the E right there, just to annoy and deal damage. We're going to keep on backing up. Chen, wait, come on. All right, now we're all going to mount up. Look at the unison. You would think that we're all, like, in Discord together. I mean, these guys actually probably are in Discord, but I can't believe how, like, well they're playing together. And thankfully, we didn't have to use my Horrify uh, to get out of that. And so as a result, we're kind of ready to go. I'm kind of baiting here. Nope, we're good. There we go. Uh, now, what might they be doing? Let's go this way. Let's go this way. I'm just going to follow the team right now. Ooh, Asmodan. There was an Asmodan up there all by his lonesome. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He's probably gone by now if he's not an idiot. If he's actually pushing with this wave, he's an idiot. Oh my gosh, he's actually back here. He's actually back here. Why did he think this was going to work for him? Oh, uh, that might be the game for them. Losing a player like that at this stage in the game, that might honestly be it. Uh, okay, you guys got that minion wave. Sukov is curiously good at clearing waves with his... I believe it's his W? Yeah, my, <laughs> I know the push strategies. Hey, Chen. There we go. Uh, see, notice how Chen just kind of rolls around without actually doing anything. Why well, can't... Uh, my W apparently was not, like, clicking there. And let's get the... There we go. That's GG. That is GG, Reno. That might be a Hero of the Storm, actually. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. Gotta get a screenshot there. Am I such a nerd that I screenshot every time I get Hero of the Storm and then save it in the folder? Yes, I am. Are you kidding me? What kind of question was that? <laughs> Here the storms me go on a, a 20 takedown streak in this game without dying. Oh yeah, we're just gonna straight up push the core. There's no sense getting these towers, although I kinda like getting the towers, it makes me feel good about me. Uh <laughs> and let's go for I wanna go for a horrify. I don't have the mana. I'm just gonna horrify nothing. <laughs> there you go. There you go, guys. You wanted damage? Nefarious, there you go. Uh, we got Gul'dan. Unfortunately, I was, I was showed up by that freaking Jaina. Who <laughs> was doing very good, but I'd say we did okay. That was just some top-tier Jaina play. Sorry, space, not really boss and bait. Didn't see it. No, 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 no. It was, uh, that was all good. That was a great game. It really was. Um, but if I recall correctly... We're going to upvote the Jaina. If I recall correctly... Was the Asmodan the random? Because I can't imagine anybody being part of their team, like their their overall party, having that idea to try and split push our core. That was just a really bad idea. Um, and that kind of threw the game for them because they were down a person. There was something they could they could really do in that team fight. They needed Asmodan's damage to be part of that. Uh, but he died because I, 
reasons. I don't know. He has no escape. He's Asmodan. It's not like he's Zagara and he can jump inside his, um, what are those things called? The portals? Where's Zagara? I haven't played her in so long. It's been so long. Uh, what's the name of that ult, ulti you can take? Uh, Nidus Network. Yeah, it's not like she has one of those she can jump in or anything like that. Like, Asmodan's actually quite limited when it comes to his mobility, so... Uh, there is really no need for him to do that. But ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Gul'dan! He's, uh, he's fun. Uh, you have to hurt yourself a lot to be able to maintain your mana and therefore deal damage. But if you can uh, make a nice... All these abilities work together. There is such a synergy here. And when you, once, you, once you get kind of used to it, which I'm not, it's been so long. But once you get used to it, um, you can deal absurd amounts of damage. Like, really, really freaking good. Uh, great sustain. Um, Horrify, one of the best ults in the game, in my opinion. It can really change the entire game. After 0.5 seconds, you do a little bit of damage, and you fear them for two seconds. While feared, they are silenced and forced to run away from the Horrify's center. So where you place it is important. You can make it so the enemies are... You can make it so they run away from you and your team. You can make it so they run into you and your team. It's kind of nuts, right? And then at level 20, a lot of people say take Demonic Circle. It's an ability you can place down and then teleport to that circle, like on cooldown. It's a one-minute cooldown, but you can place it and then teleport to it whenever you want to within a certain range i believe um which is good but um i like taking this because i like to drop my horrify in those big team fights and making it so they all take 20 percent increased damage is pretty good and they're also feared for one extra second and one second is a pretty long time in moba games like here's the storm but ladies and gentlemen once again that's all i have for, that's all i have for you guys here today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please drop me a rating and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day